Hi guys, this is Karen. Welcome to another video, another exciting one. Are you interested to know how I created this look and a full face of makeup with products that are under $10? If you are, and also, I also did my hair. So I turned from this to this. And it didn't take me a long time and the makeup products that I used are ten dollars or less and everything is here so if you're interested in seeing how I got this in each product is ten dollars or less then please keep on watching Well, we're going to start. So this is how my hair looks after me washing it very very curly. So I'm using my Amica curler to change that and I have here. This is from WOW Dream Coat uh, Supernatural Spray. I use it to spray my hair uh, before I apply heat on it so I just spray it all over my hair this one you need to spray once every few washes not every wash because they say that it's staying on your hair even though you wash it I don't I don't know about that I'm not really sure if that's if that works I'm going to take a pin and just lift my head lift my head, lift my hair and put it in a small bun because I really want to do these first and I want to spray them first so I'm going to just show you the beginning and then I'll continue doing my hair and I'll come back when I have I'm just you know taking sections of my hair and just straightening them there's nothing really special about straightening your hair but it makes a huge difference especially with my curly and dry hair just working in sections so I already did the bottom section now I'm going to take additional more a bit more hair and tie everything else in a small bun this is very attractive yeah I know <laughs> okay so I'm going to speed speed things up and you know you will see me back with straightened hair okay so let's just speed things up Okay, this is it, straighten hair, can you see the difference? Now it's not 100% straightened, okay? Because I don't like to have like too much, this is enough for me, um, I really think it makes a huge, huge difference in my appearance. So let's just turn this off and I'll put it aside so it will cool down uh where can i put this so it will cool down okay here 
yeah okay so this is cooling down and now we can start with the makeup and first of all i'm going to start with primer this one is from essence this one is a uh, 5.99 um at ulta this is from essence this is hello good stuff glow serum primer and i'm going to apply it all over my face this gives me more hydration throughout the day so i'm just applying it like a moisturizer and of course on my forehead as well so that was first step primer okay i really like this primer and i really like the scent of it it has a very very nice scent to it and i really really like it okay for tinted uh moisturizer i have this one from wet and wild this is the tinted hydrator from wet and wild mine is in the shade fair and this one costs uh, 6.99 at ulta so i really love using this this one has um more of a light to medium coverage for a tinted moisturizer I just applied a tiny bit, well, not a tiny bit, I have a lot. <sighs> and I'm just spreading it. It has a very strange scent to it. But I am applying it all over my face. I'm going to go over with a sponge. So if it looks weird, don't worry about it. <laughs> we will make it happen. We will make it work, not happen. Why happen? I don't know. I'm taking additional tint, tinted moisturizer. Wet n Wild has great product. And not just great for the price products. Great product. I'm taking my sponge. It's damped. I washed it right now. And I'm just going over everything. As you can see, this gave me coverage. Not like a tinted moisturizer. If I'm taking, for example, uh, the tinted moisturizer from Colourpop. This one gives coverage. So light to medium coverage is definitely in the works here. As you can see, I really like this product let's see what it says it says just closing it a tinted skin veil hyaluronic acid squalene a lightweight non-greasy finish sheer to medium i definitely agree with the sheer to medium i think you can definitely build it if you want to have a bit more coverage okay for concealer I'm using this concealer by e.l.f. This is the 16-hour Camo Concealer in Matte Finish. Let's just see how much this one costs. This one is $7 at Ulta. I'm going to insert the pictures here. I'm sure you already saw that. So, this one is in the shade medium beige this is how the doffler is looking very thick and big doffler i'm taking tiny amount very small amounts that's it i do not need more before i continue i'm also adding this from elf this is their camo color corrector let's see how much this one costs this one is, wait, why my phone is stop working? Okay, where are you? Here you are. This is $4. This is $4 at Ulta. I am adding it also and applying it above 
the concealer small amounts i just i didn't show you the doffler this is a very different doffler than the concealer this is very thin doffler uh, unlike the thick one from of the concealer this one is in the shade peach i'm just blending them together with my fingers under my eyes and if it's too much and i think i added too much i'm just going to take my sponge oh and the shade made <laughs> what a difference in the shades between this wet and wild skin tint skin moisturizer and the elf camo concealer but if i'm taking my sponge and dabbing it i'm kind of absorbing the access product and now it looks better okay so we combine both together at the same time saving us time next up i'm going i'm blah, blah. <laughs> next time bronzer let's see how much the bronzer this is from wet and wild this is 449 at ulta as well this is it looks horrible because it went to a lot mega glow makeup stick contour this is a cream contour and just swatching it on the back of my hand this one is so creamy and gorgeous and 449 and this one can compete with the rare beauty or the fenty beauty sticks very very creamy and i really like this shade uh can we see the name of the shade Uh, where's walnuts hmm? what okay I guess that's the name um, you can see that maybe you can see better than me yeah so this is the shade this is how it looks like and of course I'm taking my sponge I can of course also take my brush but let me just be honest with you i clean my brushes everything is clean i don't want to use it because it's clean <laughs> does it make sense i don't know but look at that and tell me this cannot compete with the rare beauty it looks gorgeous and also on the forehead the perimeter of my face i want to warm things up and this is very very affordable 449 that's less than five dollars wet and wild has um great stuff i usually do not like the packaging but this packaging is just you know it's just a stick they can't mess up the packaging according to me anyways so we bronze next up i have a blush this is from elf their camo liquid blush these are very very hyped this one is uh at ulta seven dollars which is pretty expensive this is in the shade pinky promise this is very 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 pigmented this is the shade I chose, Pinky Promise. I'm going to take, put it on the back of my hand, just like that. I don't need more. And all, always, if I want more, I can add. So I'm just taking with my finger and tapping it. Look at that. This is very, very pigmented. And I took a very small amount. Look how much I have left on my hand and leftovers on the other side tiny bit more this is super pigmented super super pigmented and another contender for the rare beauty ones that are very very hyped this one is very 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 pigmented because it's too pigmented i'm taking my sponge and 
just taking off the excess with the sponge and spreading it a bit more. Now, they're not even. Here I have more, so I have to add more. I didn't add more product to my hand. So you can see, you can use a very small amount. So this $7 cream blush can last you for a very, very long time. Now, for highlighter, also from Wet n Wild, where is it? Highlighter, here. This is $5.99. Again, also at Ulta, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. So this is it. Oh, can we just, yeah, maybe I'll open it. This is the shade Precious Petals. This is what I don't really like about uh, Wet n Wild packaging. They break. They have new packaging now for their um, powder, new powders have new packaging, but this product is amazing. And I don't mind the packaging because this is gorgeous. I mean, look at that. This is so pretty. I love this. Um, okay, I have to take a clean brush and take from the highlighter and adding it to the high points of my face just like that can you see that glow this is amazing and i really like this shade would you know this is just 5.99 i mean except of the packaging which is awful the product itself is really 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 good okay next up brows for my brows i'm using this one by essence this is the lash and bra this is the lash and brow gel mascara this one is 3.99 and this is a clear brow mascara this is how the wand looks like i'm just adding it with no color to my lashes yeah, brows, not lashes. <laughs> I'm just adding it to my lashes, just like that. I'm giving them volume and not adding any color. This is what I like to do on my day-to-day -day makeup. I usually just apply this. And that's enough for me. Oh, here, it's supposed to be here. Okay, next up is for the eyes. Let's just do something with these eyes. I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Primer, Pro Primer High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. Mine is in the shade Nude, and this one costs at Ulta $3.99. I love this stick. Re very very much this I use it in most of my videos there was a time I just when I finished my old one I totally forgot that I bought backups and when I rediscover them in my drawer I just use them almost every time they're very easy to work with and I really like that it's so inexpensive. It's less than four dollars, three ninety nine. Okay, for my eyeshadow, I'm using this one from Elf, and this is their Bite Size Shadow Palette. This is three dollars at Ulta, three dollars for four shades. This one is in the shade Cream and Sugar. I have this one in my collection for a very long time. But these are great, very affordable. As you can see, it's very easy to create looks with. Well, all my brushes are now stored. And I'm taking a clean brush and taking from the lightest shade in the palette, which is a light matte. And I'm just using this as a transition shade. This is very similar to my skin tone. So just to, let's say, set the makeup a tiny bit. 
it doesn't really give a lot of color on me maybe if you have lighter complexion it will show up or if you have darker complexion it will show up better but this is for me so in order to correct it i'm taking a very tiny bit from the very dark one very small amount just to have some color and definition just touching it and just okay that's it it's definitely enough with the same brush i'm not changing brushes i'm taking again from the dark brown and i'm adding it to the outer corner you can see this is very pigmented i'm reminding you this is three dollars and we have well they have several shades so this is not the only shade i mean they have other color schemes that's what i meant to say i'm just adding it to the outer corner and blending inwards and i'm doing the same on the other side so they will look a bit even even though the only thing that you're going to see is the tip anyways now i have two options for shimmer there are two in the middle you know what let's just swatch them um from the lightest oh um, like this yeah this is the light one this is the lightest shimmer next to it or okay we can hardly see because this is very light now the gold another shimmer and the brown dark brown matte these are the shades very very pretty and very good quality just taking from the gold and adding to the middle of the lid just like that this is a pretty pretty gold now this one is a bit dry because again i have it for a very long time i think over a year if maybe maybe more i'm not really sure so it's a bit dry but still look at the pigment It just means that I need to press harder to get pigment out. Look at that. This is just gorgeous. And now I'm taking the lightest shade on a clean finger. This one is definitely better. And I'm adding it. Whew, look at that. This is too much. This is definitely too much. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Very, very, very pigmented and beautiful shade. I need to blend. I'm just blending. As you can see, this is very pigmented. Way more pigmented than I remembered. And especially this inner champagne light gold color. Okay, I blended. Now I need to use mascara. Well, not need, but have to. I didn't find Catrice at Ulta. I was sure Ulta is carrying Catrice, but I found it at Lady Makeup. So Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara for 67 So less than $5.00. This is how the wand looks like. So I am just going to pop in mascara and I will be right back. Back, this is mascara. Two last products. First of all, this is from e.l.f. This is called the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I found it at Ulta for $8.00. So I think that the blush and lip oil from e.l.f. are the most expensive here. I have the shade Honey Talks. A very minty 
minty scent to it. This is how the Doffler looks like. I'm just adding it to my lips. It just gives shyness. As you can see, it doesn't really give a lot of color. It just enhances my lips. Last but not least, I'm just going to see how much it costs. Okay, this is the most expensive of them all. This is also from e.l.f. This is their Stay All Night Microfine Setimis. This one is $10. This is almost over, but I have a backup. I usually prefer applying this setting spray before mascara, but because I forgot, we're going to do it now. Just adjust my hair. I'm just shaking it and... It has a very nice scent and a very fine mister and I really enjoy using it. Using! Using it! Okay, this is it. This is the final look. Everything in this video is less than $10. The most expensive... <coughs> this is from the setting spray. The most exp expensive is the setting spray for $10. But everything else is less than $10. And also these are very expensive relatively expensive you know but if you compare this to rare beauty it's definitely very affordable okay this is this this is the final look with the hair and everything do let me know what you think what do you think about the look write something in the comment section down below i really really enjoy reading your comments and it makes me really, really happy. So, I really enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed watching it, then please give this video a thumbs up. Some swatches for you. So, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe. Join my family here on YouTube. It doesn't cost you anything, but it will make me very, very happy. So, do subscribe and hit the notification bell if you do subscribe. And that's it. If you have any video ideas for me, please write it down in the comments. I'm searching for new ideas for videos and maybe you can help. I hope that you will. Okay. Thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.